One Owner Car Guy, oneownercarguy.com. And I'm gonna do a quick little walk around. It's almost a different light. This is gonna be the test drive. I'm gonna squeeze it in in between the exterior and interior just because my sunshine is different right here. And not only that, I'm not used to doing it in Montana in comparison, look at that, just absolutely beautiful up there. I'm not used to doing this in Montana for the last four years or five years. Um, so it's a different timing. Things pretty straight going down the side. Pretty darn straight. That's all there is to say about it. And we're gonna just cop in and go down the road. Now this car has a leaky rear main seal. And so what that means is the rear, rear main seal leaks. I'm about 99% sure that's what it is. And it just leaks the fluid out. And they ran it through auction, ran fine and all that. By the time we got about halfway home, it stopped wanting to go to, it started feeling a little bit different of wanting to go to third when you like speed up from a little, you gotta slow down to 45 when you come into a town here. And when that happened, well, she got out and looked and it was leaking fluid. Shut the thing off and called AAA. Look at that, absolutely beautiful. You've probably already seen it by this time. Even though I haven't filmed it, it's hard for me to remember that you probably seen it. Okay, well, watch this. Okay, there's your shifter. This is high tech. This needs to be addressed. This needs to be fixed. Back in the day, the way I am, I'd have drove this forever. But it should be fixed. Fires up like a champ. Runs awesome. Extracurricular gauges. We're gonna take this thing down the road. And see, it does okay for just driving at first. And if he's driving around town, you probably never know. Now it's got tranny fluid in it, just not really enough to really do it. And I'm not gonna do anything but go up to the next little exit thing here where I can show you that it drives. She says at 40 or so. Gears, downshift and everything. Now I could tell you that I could sell this thing act like it drives right because this tranny. Same beautiful day. My camera got too hot to film. This thing drives nice. Good brakes. 
Just like that, buddy. Okay, well, with the police coming behind me, I hope not, but it looked like it. No. Black hood on Dodge Caliber. Would that give me a little bit of a scare? through all three and downshift just fine. We'll see about that speedometer right here because I'll be catching up to this guy now. I don't think there's no way I'm going to get it up to 70. That's 60 and I feel like I'm going 75. I actually have no clue. I'm not. It might be 70. I'm not getting on it that much. any slippage or anything like that whatsoever in the tranny but it does have a rear main seal leak um, supposedly I'm going by what Samantha told me Samantha she runs my office up here and we stopped by the auction in town to see what they have time to time lo and behold they had this I think drives nice man this thing can spin them tires if you want to okay now there's a car coming, so I'm gonna time this to where I'm out in front of him and going by the time he catches me, hopefully. Okay, we're right there. We're just gonna let this thing go. He's gaining, as he well should. We're at 40. Well, that doesn't really help. I just get in a car like this and I would hate to tell somebody it's all dead on. I'm going to go farther again. This will be one of my longest test drives. The fastest one for sure. I don't know if it's that much off. It sure has to be. I don't know. I was getting on that guy like crazy. Historic point. Good point to turn around, possibly. Well, that was a bummer of a test. The ancient cultural landscape. We'll give you a close-up for the heck of it. Actually, where's that? Uh, there's that, and there's that. You might have to pause it, but we're going to get out and look underneath this thing. It's idling just a bit higher than it should possibly. I don't know about that, but it could be. Oh, small leaf, you can see it right there. 
back up to see what it is. I just like to be 100% thorough on these. And honestly, I like that better than a gear shifter. God, these mountains are beautiful up here. Look at that. Give you that. Close up. Absolutely beautiful. I don't know why she thought the training was slipping. Maybe it was just low. That's oil. This car runs and drives good. Maybe it was just a little low. Maybe it does leak and I didn't know it. How's this? The car has a leak back there. All the fluids are good right now, but you've seen it dripping while it's set here, and you can see slight smoke. Now, let's pop the hood and see. Maybe this is just a fluke type of a valve cover gasket leaking from the back. I highly doubt it, but I mean, I'm going, here's my thing. I ain't gonna get in this and drive it and see it runs good and sell it as good running if I know somebody I know had a problem with it. There is a bit of a little something there, maybe. Let's look from underneath. This camera's gonna overheat again. Right there. Let's just say it runs and drives, but needs a gasket. I mean, I'll bet as long as you kept the fluids going, you keep the car going, but how good of a thing that is is a whole different question. Thanks for watching. I will go ahead and take this back to the office there, but I'll let you know I might die on the way. Well, now, my camera might die on the way. I ain't going to be able to get up to no speed beforehand. But we'll be able to get through a shift or two. <laughs> this thing drives so smooth. She could have ran the thing out of gas. Like seriously. If you hit the brakes good and hard, it'll shake just a little bit in the front rumble strips there, man. Brrr. Okay, well that's your test drive and all. I got all kinds of Trans Ams. Look at the little quail. There has to be more. He has to be the lookout. Beagles will get him. Little quail went bye-bye. He told everybody, no, no, go back. Go back when C came. Okay, there we go. Thanks for watching. I'm going to get out and give you a proper goodbye. And then we'll do the interior a little later. Well, you've already seen it by now, huh? Thanks for watching. OneOwnerCarGuy.com <laughs> This is a nice car.